Hello guys, in this video we'll see how the normal tangential coordinate systems will be applied for solving some portions of the problem just like this one. So the question stated that the pin P is constructed to move in the slotted guys which moves at right angle to one another. At this instance represented, A has a velocity to the right of 0.2 meter per second which is decreasing at the rate of 0.75 meter per second each second at the same time b is moving down with a velocity of 0.15 meter per second which is decreasing at the rate of 0.5 meter per second each second for this instant determine the radius of curvature rho of the paths followed by p and then the other question is is it possible to also determine the time rate of change of radius of curvature rho this is the question and the, me the mechanism is illustrated here okay for solving this problem let's start from the given part so the given part will be written in this form the first thing is the velocity and the acceleration is given so velocity the x is given as 0 0.2 meter per second and then velocity in the y direction is given as negative 0 0.15 meter per second and then the acceleration is stated as acceleration in the x direction is minus 0 0.75 meter per second square and then acceleration in the y direction is negative 0 0.5 meter per second square the spartus are the given parameter and then the other one is for just the required part from the required part radius of curvature rho is given and then it's also asked that is it possible just to evaluate the rate of the radius of curvature at that instant so we have to know the conditions whether it's possible or not now for solving this principle just apply the normal tangential coordinate system that means we know that the radius of curvature is evaluated in the functions of the normal acceleration because normal acceleration is v square over rho we know this function so if we rearrange this one we could evaluate that radius of curvature is equals to v square over normal acceleration so we could solve by applying this equation so for solving this radius of curvature first we have to evaluate both velocity and the normal acceleration now let's evaluate this since velocity is given here the only thing is here just evaluating them with their magnitude so the magnitude of velocity is equal to the radical velocity in the x square plus velocity in the y square so substituting the numerical values will get that velocity will become 0 0.25 meter per second now this is the velocity magnitude at that instance and then the other question is just for evaluating the theta between the two parts now let's do this one first let's draw the velocity graph in the x and y coordinate system like this one is x this one is y we know x is 0.2 so it will be around here and then we know y is just 0.15 so it will be around here let's construct this graph assume this is the velocity graph and then that means this part will be vx and then this part is just since the negative term will be vy and then this is a velocity magnitude and then between them they will have an inclination angle theta here now we know that the velocity of the particle always tangent to the path of the given object that means the tangential direction or components of the system is always in the directions of the velocity this is stated that this is just the tangential direction tangential direction and then perpendicular to this we will have a normal direction and then we know that the normal acceleration is in this direction so a n will be in this direction here so a n and the same thing radius of curvature is always also toward the center of the curve that means it's also in the normal direction here now let's state let's put this angle theta once we get this angle theta then finally we'll see how the acceleration of the particle will decompose into this normal direction 
Now let's evaluate the velocity component. Let's evaluate theta. To evaluate theta, we know that tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent vy over vx. I imply that theta is equal to tan inverse of vy over vx. Substituting the numerical value, we will get the theta value as 36.9 degree. Now when we get the value of theta, we know that if this is theta, this part will be 90 minus theta and then this part will be also the same thing as it's also theta and then this is 90 minus theta so 90 minus theta is just 53.1 degree now acceleration in the horizontal direction is given here ax which is 0 0.75 since this negative is in this direction and then we know that acceleration in the y direction is given as and acceleration in the way is 0 0.5 meter per second square we know this one so to evaluate the normal acceleration we can decompose both ax and ay into this axis once you decompose that we'll get the value of the normal acceleration let's do that one so normal acceleration is equals to ax times cos 53.1 plus ay times cos 36.9 degree once you decompose into this one we'll get the value of a n now let's substitute the numerical value 0 0.75 cos 53.1 plus 0 0.5 cos 36.9 so finally the normal acceleration will become 0 0.85 meter per second square this is the normal acceleration that means now we are able to evaluate the radius of curvature here so radius of curvature from the previous equation is equals to velocity squared over normal acceleration we know the velocity is 0 0.25 squared over normal acceleration 0 0.85 if you evaluate this you could get 0 0.073 meter now this is the final answer now the second question stated that is it possible just to evaluate just the rate of change of radius of curvature rho so let's just see that one whether we could solve it or not we know that acceleration is equals to acceleration in the normal direction a n plus tangential acceleration in the tangential direction et which means we know that normal acceleration is equals to v square over rho plus and then we know that tangential acceleration is velocity dot the tangential part so this is just the equation for evaluating the total acceleration now for evaluating the radius of curvature changes we have to evaluate the tangential acceleration which imply that tangential acceleration is always equals to velocity dot now how we could evaluate this one so tangential acceleration will become dv by dt which is equals to d by dt of we know that the velocity is equal to radius of curvature times the the angular beta so when we derive it this one with respect to time we know that both beta and rho are time dependent to apply this let's apply chain rule that means we'll derive it rho first and then we'll multiply with beta and then once we get that then we'll sum up the derivations of beta dot with rho derivation of rho this will be rho dot times beta dot plus rho times beta double dot will be the tangential acceleration if we rearrange this equation we have to evaluate rho dot which is equals to tangential acceleration minus rho times beta double dot over beta dot so this function will give us the value of rate of change of radius of curvature rho but here we don't know about beta dot and then beta double dot so since these parameters are unknown it's not possible to evaluate rho dot so this is our final answer thank you guys for watching us please subscribe our youtube channel we will present you different interesting videos